marathon, il s'écroule en s'écriant « C'est la course la plus dure du monde ». La 21e et dernière étape du Tour de France amène les rescapés à Paris. Jacques Anquetil, qui veut terminer en beauté, s'est échappé en compagnie de quelques coureurs. Il y avait quand même 40 000 Parisiens pour applaudir les rescapés de la grande épreuve de l'équipe et du Parisien libéré, qui conserve son prestige malgré vents et marées. Le public, peut-être injuste, n'a pas fait à Jacques Anquetil le grand vainqueur, l'ovation qu'il méritait. On ne peut tout de même pas nous en vouloir s'il avait le Tour de France. The best part about it though is the descents because the roads are absolutely perfect, they're wide, you can see, there are no cars, and you can just carve right through the corners. Uh, it was like motor pacing because we were going <laughs> never less than 30 miles an hour and Richard was probably more like 40 miles an hour the entire way back, the entire, just about the entire 20 mile way back. So that was, um, that was definitely unique, it was like riding behind a car, was that tailwind, thank God it was a tailwind. A beautiful day here, a little bit breezy and cool, so we decided to start our day a little later than usual, but um, as usual it's been great down here. The weather has been phenomenal, uh, the riding is great, and the people down here are really friendly, and I just encourage everybody who hasn't been here before to make sure you take some time and come down here, because it's, it's a really cool part of the country. So here we are, it's Thursday, we're just about to uh, end another beautiful week in uh, Fort Davis, Texas. I'm sitting on the side of the road. Um, Going up to a climb uh, to the observatory, Mount Locke, which is probably the uh, second highest point in the state of Texas, it's somewhere about 6,300 feet. It's a damn good climb.
So here we are, it's uh, day three um, since we came over from the United States. Did manage to pick up a bike. Um, you can see the, uh, the Eddie Merckx 25th anniversary. While we were at the factory, we got to meet Eddie, which was an amazing experience. Yesterday was an unbelievable experience. We um, got to meet just about every famous cyclist from the past 40 years in Belgian cycling at, an, at one single event, including Merckx, de Vlamic, Rick Van Looy, Van Springle, um, and a few others whose names, quite frankly, I can't even pronounce. This is um, a very deceptively uh, pleasant looking road here. What you don't see is the, uh, the big cobblestones very clearly sticking up through all the grass. We're uh, standing adjacent to the Champs-Élysées. I'm looking over Richard's shoulder at the Eiffel Tower, which is amazing. We're just doing a tourist thing around Paris, which for me is a natural since I am a tourist. We had a really nice day yesterday. It was my birthday and we went to um, Rouen to the home of Jacques Anquetil and to his gravesite in uh, croix Campois. And um, we went uh, with Richard's cousins, had a great time. They were incredible hosts. But the riding around that area in Normandy was just phenomenal. The roads were beautiful, the scenery was outstanding, people were polite, so I definitely want to do that again. I'd recommend that heartily. Hi, good afternoon. Um, we're on the top of uh, Mount Evans, which is, uh, for those of you who don't know this trivia point, the highest paved road in the United States. We're at 14,135, I believe, in terms of feet. The wind is pretty strong, but we had beautiful weather, so I can't complain, and the view, as you can see behind me, is just stunning. I'm in uh, Arches National Park. That climb this morning at the entrance, it was tough because I wasn't warmed up. It came pretty quick after leaving the, the motel. It's a beautiful day, a little chilly this morning. So this is uh, Left Hand Canyon Road. It's one of our favorite roads to ride on. Nice and quiet, winds around. Starts out about 5,000 feet. Runs all the way up to the Continental Divide at 10,000. 